evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are once again. Episode 17,000, I believe it is, by this 17,000? No doubt, man. But we what we do, close, as close. always, we'd like to welcome you to a brand new episode of Sound Off, where we take the time to discuss everything from hip-hop to social media to talking about your grandma chicken, like we talking about meals, like anything. Like, and we ain't even going to talk about what y'all guys were just talking about. But what we'll do first off is introduce these fellas. Which way I want to go today? How you always be? I never like you, so go ahead, man. Yo, what's going on? Harvey Cummings. <laughs> what's happening, y'all? I'm Lewis. Blair. <coughs> Where? It's the rap West, Webster's Dion. <sighs> okay. Fellas, fellas, fellas. Now, um, today, if, if you think about it, today is kind of a special episode because I think this is a first for us, right? Definitely a first. Yeah. couple of firsts. A couple, couple of firsts first. that's going to take place on today's episode. Um, today, we're dedicated to the ladies. This is dedicated to the lover in you, in you. Oh, shit. <laughs> So instead of taking our normal team, uh, there's a lot of hate, man. Just chill that, out, man. You that. wish you had that skill set. Damn. But like I'm saying, no one lost member of the tip. <laughs> <laughs> today, today, just for today. Well, no, hopefully, it's not for today only, but at least for right now, what we're gonna do is instead of discussing our normal male albums. We're gonna take it and include two ladies. Now, of course, we know how y'all gonna say. We know y'all got y'all typical favorites. You know who y'all got. Y'all think could be coming up, or who you think we're gonna put in this list, but it ain't your show. So guess what? <clears throat> With the sound dog group of uh, fellas, let's just do a quick little drum roll here. Fellas, gonna get a little help, a little. Drum. I know we can't hit hard. You know we at the table. All right, we going back to tape. Rhapsody, who? Local legend, right, fellas? Oh, local a local legend. legend. Local legend. Jamla legend. Jamla legend. Rock to go Nation against uh, overall, like, I, I very well say Rhapsody is on this path. She's just not there yet because of time. We're going to put up against Bahamadia. Okay. Like, she, she just signed a fucking Young hey, Nation. Hey, that don't mean shit. That don't mean that don't a mean thing. Shit. Wait. I, mean, I said she's on her way. Move. She's she's on her way. Here she we, is on her way. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, ladies, right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Lord have mercy. So, uh, Rhapsody's album that we're going to use today. We're going to we gonna make with She Got Game, right? She, she got, got Game. game. Versus? Collage. Collage. Bahamadil. Well, you know, it's a ghetto. bunch of ghetto people been saying college with a K for a lot of years. <laughs> so, you can call it what you want to. And my dictionary that ain't how you spell collage. But uh, anyway, we're going to take those two albums <coughs> and just start with them. Just, you know, just tell me how you feel about them. Where you rank them at or, you know, stuff like that. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to talk to you, Blair. Um, As far as uh, Rhapsody, I like rap. <coughs> um, I know initially, in the beginning, uh, I was a little thrown off, honestly, if we're, if we're just being honest. Um, but... Uh, as she's continued to progress and, and really sharpen, um, I'm a fan. Yeah, I'm a fan. Like she, she, she's dope. So, so she got game that's her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Project is cool. Um, production is cool. I mean, obviously she's got uh, ninth in her corner. You know, really steering. I mean, that's not a bad person to have. No, yeah. no, not a bad person to have. Not, 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 not at all. So, you know, she's 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 in good company um, with everything that she's doing. And uh, yeah, the project is dope. And um, just overall, like I, I look forward to what she has coming up next because I know she just got the deal with mm -hmm. Rock Nation. Um, so obviously, <clears throat> there's going to be other involvement uh, within every project she's working on from mm -hmm. there, uh, whether it be from Jay, whether it be from you know people like Lenny S, you know, like mm -hmm. legendary figures. Yeah. You know, so yeah, it's like yeah. now she she'll have a much bigger budget, mm -hmm. you know, things of that nature. So I'm really excited to see uh, Rhapsody just continue to grow. And um, also, I like the fact that she uh, she keeps it positive, man. Like she 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 maintains a pretty pretty cool aura about her. Like yeah, I, even I, keel, man. She's yeah, like a very even keel. Yeah, person. just real cool. Yeah. Like yeah. really really yeah. cool. Yeah. So, so so where do you rank? She got game. What do you give it? Like just, just I would listen. have to say um, I know when I first heard the project, I was kind of just. So, but listening to it like back to back, like for the past uh, 
couple of days, like I, I appreciate it much more. Okay. Just to just to see what she's at. So I'd have to say a four. Hmm. Yeah, a four. Okay. Strong, strong words right there. I'm, I'm looking like I need to save Hob. Hob look like he just got something to say <laughs> right here. Uh, let me talk to you guys, dog. On Lewis, good, bro. So, <clears throat> just kind of scrolling back uh, for Rhapsody, she got game. Kind of looking through the track listing. Um, I think you know Blair kind of touched on um, you know who she is individually. Um, you know, with Ninth and, and E Jones and the rest of the Soul Council, kind of in that you know in their pocket, in their normal pocket. Um, you know, you can't really go wrong with the tracks. E. Jones, to me, had the standout track on the album. Uh, Eric G's a special guy, too, um, with, with another another classic on that album. To me, a classic track. Um, <clears throat> also, Premier, I think, Premier, if I'm not mistaken, produced one of the tracks toward the end of the album as well. Wasn't typical Premier, but um, definitely fit uh, the mold for what Rhapsody and what Jay Electronica did on that particular song. Um, Again, Dark Knight was the was the standout on the album. Standout on the album, Wally kind of stole the show with that verse uh, toward the end. It came on one of the versions, but on the version that I, I've been listening to the past couple of days, just to kind of refresh myself from the album, he wasn't on there. Um, but <clears throat> Rhapsody is very, um, um, she has a, an acquired taste, I guess. So you're either going to kind of you know love it or hate it, or you know some folks might take a couple of listens to do it, but. For me, it was it was a, a <clears throat> smash right out of the gate. So I love okay. this particular project. Okay. <clears throat> All right, throw your number out there, man. Um, if I if I had to pick, um, you know, if I guess if I had to say something, I'd probably give it a four four and a quarter. Four old, and old a school quarter. star search. Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. Galloway, talk to me, man. Yeah. So she got game. Um, <laughs> What they uh, <laughs> 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 yo, it's it's a solid album. All right, so it's a very solid album. She stays positive. I appreciate that, and she represents uh, North Carolina. Uh, so that's always always a plus in my book. Like she didn't shy away from where she was from, and um, how, how she's how, how she's progressed over her career. So regarding the album, um, it's cool. It's just cool. Like I. Like her, uh, her tone doesn't change. Like so, I don't know when she's excited, when she like when she's when she's feeling a, a certain. She doesn't place emphasis on certain words, so it could be a very just bleh, tone album. So it kind of lost me in that regard. She's spitting. She's definitely spitting, um, and what she's spitting about doesn't seem unbelievable for her. It's something mm-hmm. that I can, okay, this can actually be her. She's actually living this life, or she actually believes this. It's, 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 uh, her, her content is very much so realistic mm-hmm. um, as it pertains to her as an artist. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> that being said, oh, yeah, I'm not really that impressed. I'm not really, I'm, I'm not jumping on uh, the Rhapsody train. I, I was really, uh, this man down here, um, Lewis, and his partner, Carrot, they <laughs> love this chick. Like, they I absolutely love, love this chick. All right, I'm talking about Rapping like tripping. they they love this chick. I I don't know why, but I, I mean my favorite track on there was probably Facts Only. Uh, Dark Tales, Dark Nights was cool, but uh, Facts Only. Uh, 21 tracks is entirely too long for an album with the same tone and just same type of this, this, this. Like she was hammering it in my head of her content so uh, 21 tracks of the same is just entirely <laughs> too much so yeah my rating sir i'll probably give it oh this look, look that don't judge me 2.8 you get a 2.8 man you, you're, you're you're average but you're like you're below that average line like i'm 2.8 and last but not least mr Cummins. Uh, first of all, I was gonna piggyback off uh, Dion like when he said like what she rhymes about is true. Like it's like she lives her rhymes and everything else. Um, what notices me about Rhapsody the most, really rapping wise, is I don't know if y'all pay attention, but it's like her 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 use of like double entendres, mm-hmm. different like she she she, did, she does different things like you know, my folks had to pill like a pharmacy. And I was like, what? Oh, like, okay, cool. Yeah, it makes you think and everything else. I mean, of course, the production is top notch, man. Just from all the guys in the Triangle area, Crisis, E. Jones, Soul Council, Knife. And you got Knife, you know, working with you and everything else. Like I said, this was like her premiere project. Okay. This, this, this was like the 
the, the introducing Rap City project. And it's just like, you know, I haven't listened to this project since it came out, but it's like I'm listening back, I see like how much she's grown since. as an artist since then. Mm -hmm. And But the thing is, she still had that wordplay, and she still stayed consistent in everything else. Uh, definitely Dark Nights is my standout. Um, you know, 21 was kind of lengthy, but it's good. You're getting your money. You get, you get your money worth and everything else. But uh, project-wise, see, number-wise, uh, it was a solid project, man. I give it a, like I said, four and a quarter. Okay, so two, four and a quarter, a four and a, and two, a point two point eight. This eight. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm obviously the only one keeping it real up here. <laughs> <laughs> keeping it real. Hey, so <laughs> so obviously real that's going to skew that average. <laughs> so we're looking at a solid, you, know, you, you, can, you guys agree to a solid three and a half? Oh, yeah. Because of this 2.8 over here? Because yeah. of that 2.8. Because of that 2.8. Can you decide? Still average. I'm just saying. Still, still I'm just saying. Hey, man, that's, in my book, that's still a solid project. I mean, it's, it not, is. it's not negating it the, is. the quality and of it. And it doesn't body. hurt that she's a female. Not, that didn't come out right. What I'm saying is. Yo, don't even edit that out. That didn't come out right. Ooh. Everybody can see that. Not, that is, no, what I'm saying is. Uh oh. Like, come on. I, it's, I'm not even going. I don't even know. Don't be no hoe. 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 I'm just. Don't be no hoe. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not falling down now. Come, can fail. we go? Let's go. Let's go. Boy, it's gonna on. be a long night for you. You oh, fail. Tell me, you not falling down. You fail. Okay. All right. Um. Here's here's another. Just so happened to be a woman in his case. I guess. Um. Jesus. I, I, I guess that's oh that's an okay thing to be right, Galloway. Yeah, hands to the face. Um, but we're gonna take it back to '96. We're gonna go back a little bit. Now, for all of my hip hop stories, we know that '96 was a great year, very excellent year. '96 was a year where you had nothing but firepower from month to month. You literally, all you wanted was for the next day for something to release. Tuesday. That Tuesday. Tuesday. That Tuesday. Tuesday. Going to manifest music and going in there and grabbing me a goddamn tape. Willie really Records. I ain't got no problem with that. Man, so, now I will admit, I don't know if this was my big favorite of 96 right here, but for competition's sake, let's go talk about my Amadea collage or ghetto college. Or the ghetto college. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of people that call it. Let's, uh, Talk about that project. You want to start with Dion this time? Yeah, we gonna get. get with, I was about to say, we about, you, boy, you literally read my mind. Let's get this two point eight out the way. Yeah, go ahead and get this out. Well, go I'm ahead. Um, collage '96. You know, I can see why this album might have been swept under the rug, man, because there was so much heat dropping that year. But th this album is solid. Now you want this clean is a it very. Up. You want to clean it up now? This is a very I, shut up. This is a very <laughs> solid album. I'm talking about solid. Like I was so surprised to hear what she was producing, man. It doesn't hurt that she's from Philadelphia, from Philadelphia. You know what I'm saying? So I know she's heavily influenced from like that tri-state area. You got a uh, uh, New York, Jersey. You got Red Man. You got you know New York. You already know what New York was producing, but then you got like the roots in her own backyard producing. Bangers back then, so in '96, I'm not surprised by what she came through with. This album was actually pretty tough, man. And she, um, the way she rhymed, man, she's very melodic, man. Like uh, it's very easy to listen to her, uh, her tone, um, the way she comes, the way she rides beats, man. Uh, she, she's a, uh, she's this very dope album, and one of my favorite tracks on that, Three the Hard Way, produced by DJ Premier. Did not know that shit. DJ Premier produced yeah, Three the Hard Way, which is an absolute fire, absolute fire album. And the light-skinned chick on the track uh, that y'all don't know, her name was K Swift, man. She was a dope DJ from Maryland. Mm -hmm. This is like her actually starting out before she passed away in 2008. But she was a very dope, dope female artist also in our own, in our own respect. So yeah, man, um, Bahamadia uh, Collage is a, is a very dope album. I give it a solid four. Maybe in a, maybe in a four and a quarter water. It was, it was, uh, it was dope. It was dope album. So in his words, that's pretty much a Grammy in his town. She for a woman. Like, yeah, for a woman. For, for a woman, she got a Grammy. Oh, really? Oh, wow. <laughs> listen, really? Listen, really? Hall, yeah, oh man, uh, I first heard this album when I was in the sixth grade. Shout out to Drina, best friend's sister. She always put me on like 
ill shit. I'm like, yo, listen to this shit. So, um, you know, I was already at that time buffing Tribe and everything else too. So it, it so it just, it just felt good. Um, it's a good feeling album, man. Like her style is very poetic, but it's like she she spitting and the production top notch. Um, definitely standout tracks to me is I Confess. Uh, I like the interludes mm-hmm. of just it's just it's just just boom bap. Mm-hmm. It's just just good boom bap, but it's so versatile because everything doesn't sound the same. Mm-hmm. Like every track is 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 is, is different, and this is a really good yes, album to like mm-hmm. ride to, like ride cruise, clean your crib, whatever. It's an everyday city that people should still, you know, go so back. Fun. I know she kind of went under the rug a little bit. Uh, Cause a lot of folks that I knew really didn't hear from her since the um she was featured on the Eric Badu joint, the mm-hmm. Love My Life remix, like, whatever, the, the, whatever one the remix on World Wide right Underground. She, and was, she was the featured. MOP. She was on the MOP yeah. joint too. MOP so it's just like you know she's she's definitely like one of the definitely like in that lyricist realm like she spit. She's definitely in the hierarchy with like Jean Grey and everything else. So definitely, uh, if I had to rate this one, I'm going with like a solid like four four on this one, man. It flowed. Okay, so. Cool. <clears throat> so, 96, I was 16. Um, just started driving. So, they were, you know, my mom in the in the Ford Taurus <laughs> had, a, had a, a tape deck only. So, I remember going to get this this cassette. You caught this a, tape? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Where, where, Respect. Are you Respect. Are you surprised? I, I'm just a little bit. Listen, man, boom bap. That's my, that's my era. Remember, that's remember, boom bap. Remember that's that's me, youngster. <laughs> so, <laughs> so '96. Um, on top of that, DJ Premier is one of my top five favorite producers. So, the joints on this album that he produced were, were no surprise, and and you know he was in that era of. Not that she needed it, but saving people's albums. <clears throat> so. I know a lot of people. A lot of people not gonna like this, mm. but Group Home, he saved your album. Mm-hmm. He gave y'all heat rocks. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, getting off subject, but Bahamadia's album from start to finish, the album open opening up with wordplay with that funky bass groove yes. was bananas. Yeah. My favorite song on the album, I think, like Dion said, Three the Hard Way, but also the joint with the roots. Um, you know, uh, Black Thought. <clears throat> is one of my top five favorite MCs. So you have the backing of, of two crews. You got the Roots, and then you got <clears throat> the Gangstar Foundation. So you're getting it from both sides. Um, True Honey Buns was another joint um, that was, that was I guess, a hit from this particular album uh, that I love just because of the story that she was telling. And also, the, the, the beat to me was bananas. But, um, you know, Premier was always good for interludes, uh, just like he had done on some Gangstar albums previously. So. Um, no surprise here that this album was was flames all the way through. I give it a four and a half. Four and a half. Blair closes up. Um, Respect. It's kind of hip hop confessions, I guess. This is my first time actually hearing the album. Oh wow! Yeah, first time the album. Yeah, because um, hey man, that's what we here for, man. Yeah, this is yeah. Because to uh, discover. See, ninety six. How old was I? in Ninety six. Come on, man. Hey, don't put that out. <laughs> <laughs> I was young, but I mean, I was still listening to a lot Twinkling of other stuff. Your daddy's eye. I was listening. I was listening to a lot of other stuff though, at that time because of my brother and uh, and my father mm-hmm. and my cousins. So this album, just like y'all had said, it was kind of swept under the rug in mm-hmm. a sense. But um, it was a surprise listen because of how good it is. And um, Premier, I, I think it's safe to say, great producers have a very distinct sound. He's very one of those producers that have a very distinct sound. <laughs> Um, all the pre- yeah, the primo cuts, crazy. Three the hard way, definitely the best joint on there, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Um, yeah, and there's there's actual musicality in the music. Mm-hmm. You know, I think it's safe to say for a lot of records back then, um, they were a lot more sample heavy. Mm-hmm. But for a project like this, it was a little bit of a of a, of a surprise. Mm-hmm. So overall, I enjoyed it. Um, definitely something I could revisit. That's mm-hmm. for sure. Okay. Um, yeah, great album. I'd have to give it a, I'd say about a four point two. 4.2. Yeah. So we actually looking at about four and a quarter for this whole album, yeah, which is a, a great solid project. So, fellas, with that being said, we're about to take a quick little break right now. We're gonna come back and do a little history lesson, man. We just wanna talk about how how women represented in hip hop. We're just gonna go over a little couple facts. We might even have a special guest. We'll be right back to sound off. Shots fired, shots fired. 
And we back, and we back, and we back, and we back, and we back. Uh, uh, oh, hey, how y'all doing out there, man? Welcome back to this episode of Sound Off. Uh, right now, what we gonna do? I don't know whether it's a history lesson or our own like award ceremony or our own off uh, on just actually do. Absolutely talking about the female rap culture. So we got a couple categories here, right? This is what we're gonna do. Okay. We want you to tell you about your favorite, most influential, and what does female rap mean to you? Right? Can't this dude. <laughs> hmm? So favorite, most influential. influential, and then just an overall feeling. Like what? What does it? What does it do for you? Like the empowerment. Like what does it mean to the game? What part of the game can we? Are we just talking about the history? Like how it's connected? Like just we put the pieces together. So we have any particular order? We defer to the ladies. Oh, yeah. We yeah. haven't even introduced the lady yet, Louis. How you know even by anybody even saw it? Did you hear the tone? Did you hear the Did you hear the tone? I don't know if you caught that. Hey man, hey man, the lady, yeah, hey, Louis. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm gonna be quiet. All right, all right, all right. So since uh, it's already been brought to our attention, I'd like to introduce to some. Uh, hiding under a rock. <laughs> to show you. Since they don't know. Oh, oh talking about they not know who they yeah. that is. You didn't yeah. hear the little pun about saying yeah. introduce. Like, I know she doesn't really need the introduction. Yeah. No introduction needed. They might not recognize me while they're here, though, even though they're here. Well, uh, <laughs> look, can we help them get familiar, ma'am? Can you? My yeah. name's Davida. Hi. Everybody say hey to me. Hey. 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 Everybody say yeah. hey to me. Hey. 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 I am very, very happy to be here. <laughs> very, very happy to be here. And we are very, hey. very happy to have you here. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate now, that. Now, you no, hey. no one was surprised. Oh, you knew Thank you. Thank oh, you. Now, I don't Why not just add? Oh, I know whoa, you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hey, go ahead, go ahead, man. I'm sorry. Why don't I just me. add that? I think this is a great episode to have. I had to call them out on the book of the faces for this to occur. Of the face. Mm -hmm. But I appreciate it. They, Dion, I believe it was. He was like, this is going to be a short episode. How are women relevant in hip hop? What? Mm -hmm. I did not say the bare minimum. I did not say that. I did not say that. No, you didn't. That was definitely him. I wasn't even here. I was I would never disrespect women like that. You just said it. Ella. She only made a woman. Who's that in there? Yeah, I'm just glad that, you know, the discussion is here. That's all. All right, the discussion is most definitely here. So since we, you brought that to our attention, let's just start off with you just having a little conversation. So let's talk about, let's just ask Mr. Vita, your favorite female rapper. Favorite? Ooh, I hate favorites. Mm. Um, you want to do a top three? One. I mean, I can name. You know I what? I can name top about ten. Well, but, really okay, ten. so favorite? Um, <laughs> so I would definitely say Lauren. I would definitely say yeah. Queen. I would definitely say um, Moni. I would definitely say... Three. Three. Oh, oh, three. oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Only love. Oh, see, I was just naming. I was oh, okay. So for give a give a give a look. three. Little Kim, yeah. Nikki, of course. People clown on Nikki, but you know Nikki she don't. holds her own. She definitely she holds her own. Yeah. So out of all those, give me something that that sticks out the most. Which one is your favorite? One. Yeah. I would have to definitely say Lauren, just because. See that chick, really? Lauren I mean, here. Good old. Miss. She could, whether it's battle rapping, Ooh. whether it's singing, she got vocals and content. Good old Miss Lauren. You know, so cool. yeah, that's Miss Hill. Sure. So uh, just to be fair, would that be the same as your favorite rap album too, or do you a female rap album, or do you have another one to consider your favorite? <laughs> that would be hardcore for you. Rap album. She played hardcore like it was. Yeah, hardcore. Thing. Mm. Yeah, that's what I Definitely. That's a good album, though. Yeah. I can't even front it. That was a good album. Yeah. Every time she hopped in the 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, as far as influence over your life, do you consider it a difference in that the, the relevancy of the female versus the male hip hop for you personally? Relevancy? Yeah, like of course it is. Well, other than the fact that you're a woman, do, mm-hmm. do you relate differently? Yeah. So here's the thing. I just wanted to discuss it. Nick, I'm not an authority on <laughs> women in hip hop. Okay? No, because we asked everybody the same question. Yeah. So as far as them being relevant, is that the question? No, not relevancy to you. I was talking to you personally. How did that affect? How did it affect you? Um, because they told a, a narrative that I could relate to. I mean, you know, they bring the sex appeal, they bring the gangster shit, whether that's with gangster boo or with uh, what is it, oh, diamond shit. and um, mm-hmm. diamond and Princess. what's your girl, Princess, Princess. from Crime Oz, yeah. um, Mercedes. 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 Um, yeah, so, and yeah. they brought the sex yeah. appeal. They brought all of that. So, it, it was a different side of hip hop. You know, yes, it's still male dominated, but, you know, they 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 play a crucial role. Cool, cool. In the culture. The overall, mm-hmm. everywhere. Overall. And influence many yeah. males. That's what that's what we about to find out from yeah. some of these fellas yeah. right here. Yeah. So, uh, talk to me, Lewis. Um, <clears throat> so, let's see. I think my f- Davida rattled off some good ones as far as uh, female MCs. I think my favorites. Are we doing three for us two? Or you can just drop your top three real quick. Light, Lauren, um, Latifah. Um, hey. Latifah's early work, as far as some of that production that was on some of that early stuff, was nasty. Um, you know, you sampling. Grover Washington on on tracks, um, you know you got you you got you know Moni's little little influence. You know Latifah kind of adopted her as a little sister, but mm-hmm. she was doing her thing in the UK. So, um, <clears throat> out of out of those three, I would probably say, from a pure MC standpoint, Light is my favorite. Um, Cramden understands you, poor Georgie. Like it's you know she has bangers, and that voice was was unmistakable. Yeah. You know Lauren, <clears throat> Lauren is a is a, a tough piece of work too, as far as um, <clears throat> you know content. Like Davida touched on earlier, vocals. Um, she was a total package. We just need some more of that. Oh, Lauren, where you at? <laughs> she just did. What was it? Um, she was late for it. Whatever. She it was. was. <laughs> she gave a good show. Yeah. <laughs> she gave a good show. <laughs> um, yeah, she she's definitely dope. Um, but I, you know, I just think we need another another album. But the Miseducation of Lauren Hill from a female MC, that's probably my favorite album. Um, as far as as far as um, you know, you can't forget Gene, you can't forget rap. But it, but for me, I think that was a complete album to me from start to finish. Um, as far as influence uh, over my life, probably not so much. Um, they were dope, but you know my favorite, <clears throat> my favorite groups are and favorite MCs are males, and that's not a knock to them. Um, but you know, for me personally, it wasn't much influence for me. They were just they were dope. They were dope females, dope MCs, but you know, still riding with dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me, player. Um. Favorite three female MCs. Um, I have to say Lauren Hill, obviously. Um, Rod Digger. I love Rod Digger. Good, good choice. Good um, choice. As well as, uh, I know this may sound kind of crazy, but it's kind of a tie between Little Kim and Jean Grey. Oh, wow. Yeah. Kim was dope. Oh, yeah, Kim was very dope. Kim was dope. Um, was. Like, especially in her prime, so to speak. Um, uh, Favorite, favorite uh, album from a, a female MC? I would have to say, just like Lewis, the Miseducation. I could play that album pretty much at any time. Um, I think Lauren, uh, just far beyond a technical standpoint as far as rapping and so forth. I think Lauren understands music because, if I'm not mistaken, she produced a bulk of that album. Um, so. Uh, there's a lot of other different components in that, and I know for just any artist I listen to, I listen to, um, I definitely look for things like that, uh, much like an Anderson Pack, you know, um, just for reference. But uh, yeah, the Miseducation for sure. And as far as influence on my life, mm, 
can't say it's it's heavy, uh, and much like Lewis says, it's not a knock or anything. But if I had to to to, I guess put a piece of that in there somewhere, I would have to connect it back to Lauren Hill because um, grew up on the Fugees. I love the score. It's like one of my favorite albums. Um, but the Miseducation is just another one of those like def. It, it's one of those defining albums. You know what I mean? And even Lauren like. Even if she had never put out another album ever again, she won't. like that's it. Like that's her magnum opus. Like you can, she won't. yeah, that's it. So, oh, and I seen her. I saw her live last year when she came to Columbia. She, she, she shut it down. She's late. late. Mm, yeah. Maybe yeah, a couple minutes. A couple minutes. Like, a couple minutes. But she killed it though. Her and her band shut it down. Like it was crazy. One of the best shows I've ever been to, easily. Cool. But yeah. So. Oh, huh? Talk to. Me. Uh, favorites, man. I mean, like, it'd be right if I did not say Lauryn Hill um, is number one. Um, I was a big fan of the Brat. Brat. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so ratchet, man. She, she the, the Brat was, was was lyrical and, she, and her rhythmic. It reminded me of like Biggie almost, like certain certain rhyme patterns and rhyme schemes and okay, everything else and she's, she's very 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 underrated functified was my was my was my project um and then i'd close with i want to say mc light but i think people really sleep on like i want to say left eye like even like e- 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 even 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 like even she because she rapped on the stuff like tlc did but when she had but she had the features it was always clever it was always meaningful it was always like like worth something and she you know i think people really slept on that as well as far as like left eye but my favorite my favorite is the brat man like, she, was, she, was, she was always she was always one of my favorite like, female MCs, man Respect that. um you know coming from all aspects not even just the south and everything else but she was from the south you know so uh as far as the impact um like I said, miseducation changed my life. <laughs> um, I mean, content like it says, like even like Bahamadi and stuff like that. But um, yeah. Word. Yeah, I appreciate that. Oh, you didn't do your top three. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, he was did. Wait, uh, I wasn't listening. Sorry. <laughs> Damn. 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 Come on, let's, let's close it out. Anyway. Let's close it out. Yeah, wait. <laughs> My top three. Rod Digger, Missy Elliott. I can't believe nobody up here mentioned her. And and uh that third spot, man, uh it's a struggle for me. Ooh, hell no. But my, it's a struggle for me, but if I had to, if I had to choose someone, it would probably be like man, gangsta boo, man. It would probably be in my it would probably be in my third spot, man. I just just the way she, I mean, bro, she, she held it down with the triple six, man. So you gotta, you gotta respect anything that she put out. But like, if if I had to choose one out of that group, it would be Raw Raw Digger. Um, uh, if uh, what'd you say? What's album. You? Oh, album. Favorite album? Harry. Um, Dirty Harry. Dirty Harry is a that album. It's so mean, but you know, I mean, Miseducation was. It's, it's definitely it's definitely up there, man. I would be remiss if I didn't mention Laura Hill as like a three um, A. You know what I'm saying? She is uh, she is Hope the queen. Learn. She is the queen. You know what I'm saying? She's the queen. Uh, but yeah, if I I think the uh, Dirty Heritage is, is definitely the album I would choose. Um, influences, not too much really. Um, you know the problem that I have, man, is I like. Look, he's, he's waiting. Huh? He's, think, he's think I'm gonna fuck up. I'm not gonna fuck up. <laughs> the problem, the problem, the problem. <laughs> Pete is interest. Oh, really, Dion? Uh, now, oh. <laughs> now, if I like, if I could just say this, like, the problem that I have, um, I am not a huge fan of high pitch voices when I'm listening to music, especially the way it blends with the beats. So the problem that I have with a lot of women is, of course, their voices are going to be of a higher tone than a, than, than a guy's. So that that's really a problem that I struggle with um, in general. Uh, so, uh, but I like Remy Ma. You know what I'm saying? I like which, I like how she I like how she you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I like I like how they, they they're very aggressive. I like how they come across on the track. Who was it Lady um, of Rage? Lady of Rage. Yeah, Lady of Rage. Didn't really listen to her much, but yes, uh, she. Uh, you know what I'm saying? She boss. she had she had that boss. Oh mm-hmm. my God, boss. Yo, she she uh, she really she really put it out there. Nah, yeah. No, no, they ain't doing no nice one. Hey, they might say you listen to Queen Pen. Hey, huh? huh? You Queen Pen? Yeah. No. Single or two? Yeah, she had that. Uh, 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 a who? A single. Oh, that's why. And that is why. Yeah, yeah, no diggity, right? No diggity. And even her first on that was. They could have did without. Wow. They could have did wow. without. So yes, okay. that's that's just that's my opinion. All right. You know, if All I right. may chime in one more time, yes, sir, you a, lot, a lot of the problems with uh, women nowadays they they're influencing music, the uh, MCs the wrong way. Like Nicki, like Nicki Minaj. I I don't really rock with her like that. But like uh, Jean Grey, uh, Rhapsody. These are artists that actually have content. Of course, the trash is rising to the top right now, but those artists that actually produce and actually putting out good music, musical content, you're yeah, not going to hear from them. I feel like that's a trend, whether you're male or female. I was about to say, that's a trend. Young and May? Is that what you're saying? Young and May? Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know who that is. Young and May is this girl from Brooklyn. Yeah, she's a... And, like, I heard her on a mixtape, but it was... She's bubbling right now. Yeah, fire. She got the power of Power Fest already on Power 105. Flow crazy. She's dope. She's real dope. Okay, all right. So well, overall, I can tell, is. man. Like we got a good overall coverage of the different artists, but it looks like we got a pretty good consensus on one particular name. It's Lauren Hill, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we about to take a break. When we come back, we are gonna have a little talk, right? All right. Everybody got their ranch ready too. By the way, we just want to check on those ranch. Yeah, absolutely. Our ranch is ready. Okay. Just I one. agree. Just one to me. That sounds like a rant in the making right there. <laughs> we'll be right back. I just will be right back. We are back. Here we go to everybody's favorite part of the show. Everybody loose, man. You done stretched today. You done got all that pressure up off you. You feel good? Everybody? Uh-huh. All right. All right, man. Everybody. Everybody. All right. So we about to just run the round table. Rhythm spoon. And give them a good ass minute of what the hell you tired of, or just get it off your chest. Say it with your chest, little ass nigga. <laughs> Man, my rant is, you know, usually I go to, you know, you, you go to Seven Eleven, you going for either two things, you getting some gas, or you getting something else, man. But when you, you get me, <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to explain it. But when people get in front of me and they order freaking lottery tickets mm. and they want to order like the three inch sub and the chicken sandwich and the, so they got to leave the register and like go make the food and I'm, I'm still waiting just trying to put 10 on pump three, man. <laughs> I've been there for like three extra minutes, four extra minutes when I should have been out, man. It's like, dang, I'm just going the man had her on. Yeah, <laughs> he, the man had <laughs> he really feeling that thing. Yeah, right? look, it's my yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's nasty, man. Word. All right, huh? All right, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, gas station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He feels like I'm going to wait about the three I minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you, lottery lady. I was three minutes lost, you know? Let me, let me get number eight. And then get number 13. Hey, you don't want to be rude and just reach over like, I'm just just take this right check there, right there. Right. I get it. V. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just going to, a few things. Um, I'm hungry as hell. Um, another rant. Um, I hate that a lot of venues here in Charlotte are closing. I want to say that. Long live the arts. What the fuck y'all doing here? Um... Women in hip hop are so relevant. We're so relevant that some of y'all favorite rappers, like Young Thug, wants to emulate us in Easter mm, dresses mm, and shit. Mm, mm. I don't okay. know who favorite that is. Easter dresses and shit. Um, what else? I can't stand fuck boys. Um, oh, wow. That shit oh, hasn't oh, changed. Oh, Jesus. Um, I hate that women have to do so much to get the same credit in hip hop. Like, 
you know, and when they refuse to suck and fuck to get to the top, yeah. it's a problem. Uh, um, right. Damn. Uh, a real what right. Else? Get this in Did I say that I was hungry? Because yes. I'm hungry. Um, I, I need to stop. All right. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and call the rent for a reason, <laughs> doc. You did it off your chest. That's definitely okay. what she just did. Y'all I heard that shit. Hey, y'all hope wait. I don't even know how I'm supposed to follow that. Uh, I hate fuck boys too. Yeah. <laughs> fuck them niggas. Fuck them niggas. <laughs> um, I, <clears throat> I'm Southern. I'm from South Carolina. That's questionable. I hate the fact that I am lumped in with these chitlin eating. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I said it. Oh, I don't like boy. chitlins, and I don't eat them because that's disgusting. <laughs> Anything that you got to squeeze doo doo out of before you cook it and eat it is not supposed to be eaten. So much I don't eat eggs. grits. Damn. I don't oh. eat eggs. Oh. If I wanted a chicken, I eat a chicken. I don't want no chicken embryo, and that's it. And I don't eat chitlins. Did I say that? Yes, you did. Chitlins are disgusting, and if you eat them, you need an animal. That's it. That's Dion. Right. Oh, and that one. <laughs> yeah. You. <laughs> Kills the chipmunk. Right. And you. Whatever. You, you eat a chipmunk too. I'll fuck it all the way up. Right. <laughs> Damn, that was like disgusting. Right. You need a whole pig from the rooter to the tooter, from the snout to the goddamn Please, man. Please, Please. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Mama. Oh, Jesus. Hoof and all, goddamn! I eat a hoof. Yeah. You believe it? No, Boy, that damn yeah, toe. Boy, that, that toe. Go ahead and get your rant on, brother. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is dedicated to, well, first let me say, football season is upon us. Thank God. I'm thank tired God. of looking at bullshit. So, yes, thank God football season is upon us. This is dedicated to the fans that live here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Can I be a little more specific to the team? This is dedicated to you Carolina Panther fans that um, lost the Super Bowl last year, technically this year. And uh, I'm so glad that y'all had a great year last year, but it's not gonna happen this year. You guys are going to be in the cellar of the <coughs> NFC. And you know, this is for those fans that, fail, those, those Fairweather fans, those damn bandwagoners, the Panthers got their ass molly walked in the preseason by the Patriots, and everybody's just, oh, whoa, I can't believe Cam Newton, same person that was juggling on his nut heads last year, one of they ain't gonna hate on the man now. You Panther fans are horrible. A great majority of you should just not even exist as football fans, period. I wouldn't want you on the Bears. I wouldn't want you with the Bears organization. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Chicago Bears, one of the greatest organizations oh. that's ever been organized, bad news. Uh, ever been incarcerated, incorporated, thank you, I'm done, bro, go ahead, bro, I'm done, <laughs> man. Um, my rant, it'll probably shift the tone a little bit um, on a more serious note, uh, looking at the whole Kaepernick situation, um, oh. it seems like missing the point has become popular uh, mm. amongst, you know, this year, so, you know, for anybody, you know, who, who, who can objectively think about a situation, please take that into consideration before assuming or, you know, making accusations to, you know, something that's completely, uh, I don't know, um, or just creating scenarios that aren't there, you know? So, yeah, that's my rent. Like, yo, stop, stop missing the fucking point. Like, mm. seriously, like, Hell yeah. What he said. Yeah. yeah. Or read something real for real. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fuck this shit. Clickbait. Man, the nigga nope. just sitting there. I want to sit down too. Know what lottery tickets you're going to get before you go. <laughs> <laughs> let me get Let me get one, 16, and 32. <laughs> Word. What's up, Isaac? Chilling, chilling, chilling. Um, my rant is going to be very special. Oh. Y'all might want to slide away from me because it might cause some bullet holes, all kind of shit. Y'all might shoot. Oh, man. Hell, y'all might shoot. I know where the shots are coming And cut. From. Will. Cut. <laughs> cut. cut. We want to talk about the whole statue of greatness, uh, classic music, and does it come with a time frame? Is there a pedestal that can we replace stuff? Like, can somebody get down and somebody else get up? Is that possible? Do y'all agree that that's possible? Depends. I mean, yeah, it depends. I think that's on possible. Them. It is possible. Okay. 
This one right here, and then it just made it so ironic because everybody mentioned this lady today. I knew it was coming. I want to put an RIP to the miseducation of Lauren Hill. Mm. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> love the album. Let's start off by saying that. Set up. Yeah, I love the album. Ali, <laughs> <laughs> Ali, the bush. I love all the content quality of it. All right, let's just dig to the meat of it. This is this is this has been brewing inside me for some years, just because of the fact of how people are so held wholeheartedly to it. Do you realize that this is an album of side chick woes? She went through a lot of issues on this, trying to get back. She was trying to heal herself, and it turned into an album. It's called a miseducation of Lauren. She was confused from the beginning of this. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm not even gonna go no further because I feel get shot. I just feel like this would be ugly. But with that being said, so are you saying that it's not a top album? It is definitely a top album of all time, but it's not the greatest. It's definitely not the greatest. There you go, Lauren Hill. You ain't the greatest. You did not create the to greatest. Him. To me. Must be very clear. Yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> I mean this, is what we, this is what we do these rants yeah, for. And yeah, I had to get that title. off my chest because title. of the fact of that it's so many people that hold that to a different standard of music. And I understand everything fits so perfectly on there. But let's not change the narrative of the story. And it's still relevant. You said it's a what? It's Five side chick woes. Shit, that's real. That's, that's a relevant. That's a, real that, that's a that. relevant that's album. Yeah. That's a cold whole life. Yeah. Mary J. Yeah. whole career. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's a thing. I'm just saying, man. I'm just, it's because they got new ones doing it now. Nigga got some side chick woes. All them little young chicks got some too. Just give them a chance to tell you their story. Um, Barbara, it's a shirt. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, from the clothes on his back yeah, to the shoes shot. on his feet. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I feed this nigga. Uh, I clothe that nigga. Hey, a woman to woman. Uh, you better get your shit together. Barbara, just move on now. Oh, yeah. Going on, Barbara, because I'll be right here. Woman to woman to woman to woman. That was that fire, though, bro. Oh, but uh, yeah, I, I appreciate her too. Yes, that we actually yes. recording right now. Shout out to Amelia. Shout out to Emil. Shout out to. Can we can we throw Missy. an OG China, shout out to China? China. China. I think Millie Jackson was the first white. female rapper. Millie. 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 I think Millie Jackson okay. was the first okay. Millie female okay. rapper. Millie Jackson. Okay. Millie Jackson was the first female rapper. Shout out Charlie Baltimore. Salt and Pepper. Shout out to Vita Miss J. Nonchalant. Five what? o'clock in the morning. Where you gonna be? Outside on the corner. Uh, Better get yeah. yourself. Hey, Trina. Trina. Hey, we out, man. This is our episode of Sound Off. We like to thank y'all for watching, man. Go ahead and watch the other episodes if you haven't checked us out. And we'll be back in a couple weeks. Time to eat. Hey. Time to eat. Thank you. Eat. Really.